Today I'm coming to you with the promised video about the castor oil pack and how to set it up. I'm going to, at the end of this, you'll see a link to the original video that I had done about the castor oil and the coconut oil as the healing oils. So if you want to reference that, by all means, go back and take a look at it. And what I'm doing today is I'm just going to show you physically how to set up a castor oil pack and it's very very simple I've been doing this I would say truthfully at least 40 years possibly more as I mentioned in the first video it was when I first discovered the books about Edgar Cayce and I started reading them and being totally fascinated by both the man and the methods and the incredible number of people that he helped in his lifetime and so many people were sent to him or came to him when modern medicine at well I want to say modern medicine because he died in the 40s 1940s but medicine at the time couldn't help them the cases were helpless and he actually wound up saving his own wife's life with his readings the medical uh, readings and and the things that he recommended for you know, for them to use to help her heal. I'm not suggesting to anybody that they believe anything that they don't believe. That's not part of their belief system. I will just tell you that in my experience, the, these healing oils, both of them, but today specifically the castor oil pack has helped me with some really, really bad things that have happened to me over time and I I would not be without it I don't know that I've been without it much in the past 40 years I mean it's something that's that important to me so uh, what you do in the beginning what I I mean I did buy um, castor oil and the interesting thing is I have recommended this locally to friends and neighbors and family for all that time and it's been like ripples on a pond because one person uses it and then other people use it problem is people don't listen very often then somebody will say to me I use the castor oil and it didn't work well how did you use the castor oil well I rubbed it on my body no that's not the way you use it it was specifically designed to be used this way now I tell people in the readings it always, always said that it needed to be put on a piece of flannel. Now, I know when they sell it in all of the places in which they do sell it and when they sell a kit, they almost always have wool flannel. I've used wool flannel, but I've also used cotton flannel. I've also used, I've taken an old flannel um, pair of pajamas in desperation sometimes and cut it up and use that so all right first of all you will need the castor oil and I bought mine on Vitacost and I'll put a link in to it they refer to it as the Palma Christi and it really I mean it's just I find it to be incredibly healing I must say though and please understand I'm not suggesting to anybody, nor would I ever, that you use this instead of checking with your medical professional. You speak to your doctor, you speak to anybody that you're working with that's taking care of whatever your problem is. When I mentioned it to my latest doctor, he sort of looked at me and he said, well, at least it can't hurt. And I said, you're right, it can't hurt. And I smiled because I know what good it does, but I'm not here to convince the world. I'm here to share what's worked for me and to hopefully make somebody else's life a little bit better and to help somebody feel a little bit better. One of the, the times for me that was significant in terms of pain was I had um, a terrible shoulder problem 
I don't recall, well, it was long after I had a bad neck injury from, I was hit by a mail truck. I was broadsided many years ago when my son was little and I had a significant amount of pain for a very long time and I couldn't, I couldn't turn my head at all. I couldn't lean over to check and see the gas on the stove to see how high the flame was. I couldn't turn this way if somebody was talking to me. I couldn't bend my head down significantly. Couldn't do any of that. So I went through a rough, rough few years with that. But what happened was, I don't know if it was a result of that, but when I had one of my x-ray sessions done, <laughs> the doctor came back and he said to me, how old are you? And I think I was in my very early 30s at the time. And he said, you know, he said, you have, um, oh God, what what is it called again? In any case, I had a really, really bad pain in my shoulder at one point. The pain was so horrible that I could not sleep. I couldn't rest. If I was sitting, it hurt. If I leaned on my right side, it was killing me. If I was on my left side, it was miserable. I was moaning in pain. And what I did ultimately was one night I said, I just can't take it anymore. And I thought about the castor oil pack and I used that that night. Now, mind you, this has been going on for a while. And the pain was, I can describe the pain no other way than to tell you it was exquisite. So what I did was I took the castor oil pack, I applied it, and the next morning when I took it off, as God is my witness, the pain was gone. The pain, thankfully, has never come back in all of those years. I've had many other issues, there's no doubt. And when I have an issue that I don't treat it for very quickly, it takes more time and it takes more application. And I'm not sure if the castor oil that's available to us today is exactly the same as it was back in the day. I'm, I'm not sure. So I have my questions about it. In any case, this one is called, cold, it's cold pressed and it's hexane free. It soothes and softens the skin. It's perfect for health promoting packs. It's certified organic. Now, what it says on here about the directions to make a pack is saturate the flannel and place over abdomen or other areas, cover with plastic and apply heat to support absorption. Now, I have never saturated the flannel. What I do is I put flannel, I'm gonna show you two pieces of flannel and I did buy the wool flannel recently, but I put it somewhere and I'm not sure exactly where it was. So this is an old piece of flannel that I had bought. Actually, I think I bought it at a dollar store years ago. And when I was in the store and I saw that they had flannel, I said, oh my God. So I picked it up and you can, you can kind of see where it's got some of the castor oil in it. So again, as I say, I'm, the castor oil doesn't seem quite as thick and syrupy as it used to, it's thick but it's not the same. So uh, that's my only caveat with this. What I will do, and I'll take a little bit now to show you. I will take it, I will hold this up so as not to get it all over the place and then I'll tip it over and I'll get a little bit in. When I do, it comes out like this and I'll kind of rub it in a little bit my goal is not to use the whole bottle in one try. So I've got that. Then what I'll do is I will continue along until I get enough of it to cover the specific area that is giving me pain. Right now I'm dealing with an issue on my leg, so I started using it for that. At that point, once I have enough of the castor oil on this, let me cover this, I will then take this flannel and apply it directly to the affected area. It can be a leg, it can be an arm. I've had it, I had an abscess uh, one night and my face started to swell a little. 
it was on a weekend and I couldn't reach the dentist and I thought let me try it until I can get to the dentist and by the next morning the pain was gone the swelling was gone it never came back so again I, I I'm telling you this because it's the truth of what happened to me but once again I don't want you to think that I'm playing doctor or that I'm giving you medical advice I'm just telling you what worked for me and as my doctor said he said the good thing is it can't hurt you and my feeling is so many of the things that we take to treat our illnesses and our injuries have side effects that can hurt us so if I can use something that has never hurt me then I will certainly do that if you were to totally saturate this and apply it to your abdomen for example you could wind up with a bellyache and you could wind up with the runs if enough of it gets absorbed so don't go crazy with this but I've never had the experience it has never happened to me ever during the years okay so now you're going to apply it wherever your injury or your problem is I'll wrap it around however it works depending on how big the area is I will then take take piece of plastic and the size of the plastic depends upon what I'm covering so this would be a pretty typical size for me to use now I can double it over the long way I want it to more than cover the uh, fabric so if the fabric is going on like this I want this to go over this and completely cover it before I wrap it. My goal is to wrap it completely and tie it off so that I know it's gonna stay on. I typically do the packs at night only because it works well for me. You can do it any time of day. Now, yes, you can use it with heat, but it depends upon what's going on in your body and will heat be something good for you or will heat not be something good for you? I don't do it with heat. There is enough heat coming out of the plastic wrapped uh, cloth that I've never needed it. When I'm finished with the application of that night, and I, I leave it on the whole night, and I have to tell you, whatever it does, it also has such an incredibly soothing feeling that I feel wonderful when I get up in the morning or shortly after I apply it and it helps me to sleep better. So I will take the fabric when I'm done and I put it in a baggie and I will seal it. That will keep it ready for the next time that you use it. Now, there are some of the sites that will tell you to put it in the refrigerator and then they tell you that you can use the pack for two months or whatever. I use it for a while, then I wash the flannel, and that is the end of it. This one is flannel. This is cotton flannel, so it's easily washable. It says it's $6.99, but I don't think I spent that for it, to be honest with you. I think I got it in a dollar type store. I'm not 100% sh not sure, but I think so. So I will leave it in this until the next time I'm ready to use it. When I'm ready to use it again, I will t use the, the uh, casserole that's in it, but I'll add some fresh, and then I will apply it again to the affected area. Now, I'm dealing with a problem in a very, very difficult area to treat, and that is my my leg just under the groin so it's the widest part of your leg I have to apply it on an angle and I have to wrap it all the way around my leg so for that the dry cleaning bags that you get typically from the dry cleaner the long bags that's what I used for this I tried to wrap it twice so that the first time I had it over the front of my leg and then I tried to wrap it all the way to the front again and tie it off. The problem was I didn't have enough to tie. It went around the second time, but it would, there was nothing left to tie. And I knew it would fall off and it was not going to work. So ultimately what I did was I tied it off 
in the front toward the side because I didn't want it behind me having a lump so that I couldn't sleep. And it absolutely works well for me. So that that's that's what it is. If you have any questions specifically about this, let me know. And once again, any issue that you have before you try anything like this, just check with your doctor, see if there's anything that he or she wants you to do or would suggest for you uh, medically. And I mean, there are some doctors who do know about this, but I would say probably more than not don't because it's just not part of their training. It's a holistic kind of a practice. But for me, it has really made my life a whole lot better for a very, very long time. That and the um, coconut oil. And I will do the, co the coconut oil is really simple, but I'll go over that one again in a separate video. As I say, if you have any specific questions, please let me know. If you have any experience of it that worked for you, let me know that as well. I really hope this helps. Before I go today, I'm going to come in closer again because I know you always ask about the makeup. Today's makeup again, I was trying some of those things from yesterday from that uh, Sephora Favorites Superstars kit. And I do really like a lot of them, to be honest with you. I'm not sure on the Makeup Forever powder. It, it's, it's not bad. And if you're younger than I am, it's really good. I think in actuality, when I smile, I don't have as many lines, but I feel as if the lines show up a little bit more with this. The eye makeup, um, today I went back to the Yves Saint Laurent, um, the quad, no, it's not a quad, it's a quint. <laughs> uh, this is the Couture Palette, Danger Seduction Edition, and I was determined to make it work, and it, it does work, I mean, it does. You do have to work a little bit harder. I did have to use something else for the transition color, and it probably would help if I used a little bit of water on it to give it a little bit more intensity. But this is it. Today's um, mascara, <laughs> once again, is that Alme blow me away, <laughs> blow me away, megaphone mascara. So take care, and I will see you there. Oh, you're going to ask about the wig. The wig is the Raquel Welsh crowd pleaser. And I will see you very soon. Love you. Bye-bye.